If you were an adverb. If you were an adverb, you could do things quickly, eagerly, sloppily, loudly, or energetically. Like peanut butter and jelly, verbs and adverbs go well together. If you were an adverb, you would work closely with verbs. Verbs tell us something happened. If you were an adverb, you could tell us how something happened. The snowboarder skied gracefully down the mountainside, but he fell awkwardly at the bottom. If you were an adverb, you might have a tail. Many adverbs end in the letter L-Y. How did the bear dive? Perfectly? Speedily or clumsily? The volleyball player hit the ball sharply and powerfully. A player on the other side jumped fearlessly into the air. If you were an adverb, you would work at the beginning, the middle, or the end of a sentence. Rapidly, the runner rounded the curve. The runner rapidly rounded the curve. The runner rounded the curve rapidly. If you were an adverb, you could tell us how often something happens. The long jumper always jumps more than 20 feet, around 6 meters. The long jumper often jumps more than 28 feet, 8.5 meters. If you were an adverb, you could tell us when something is going to happen. You could be something now, later, today, tomorrow, or yesterday. Some teams will play now. Other teams will play later. If you were an adverb, you could help adjectives describe things better. Some athletes are somewhat short. Some athletes are very tall. Some athletes are immensely muscular. Some athletes are extraordinarily fast. Some athletes are too busy practicing. If you were an adverb, you could modify other adverbs. The crowd watches very closely as the athletes compete extremely well. If you were an adverb, you could put sentences together. Only if you were an adverb, of course. The end. And that's the end of today's story. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.